Hey, good morning, guys. It's Steve. Good morning, guys. It's Steve KF5JUF. So we got test data from the Comet CHA250 Heavy Duty, and this baby is a winner. So let's go over the data. What we got going on, just a quick uh, couple of installation points to talk about real quick. Uh, basically, this is what I'm doing here is I'm replacing the, uh, the Charlie Papa 610 antenna, which I've had okay performance with, and I can't complain. It, it, it did always work. Um, I, I sometimes wasn't very happy. I wasn't able to do six meter very well, but anyway, it did some strange things. And anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's been replaced. So the upgrade here is, uh, to the Comet basically using the same 30 foot pole. Um, so we got a little 22 foot antenna here, 23.5 foot. This antenna weighs about seven pounds. This one weighs also seven pounds. So, uh, I think my loading and everything should be okay. So, um, we're just going to run it for a while and see what happens. Real quick, there are three versions of the 250. There's a Bravo, Bravo 2, and a 250 HD. The HD is what I'm testing, uh, and this thing is amazing. Uh, this is actually an in-fed antenna. One of my subscribers told me that, and thank you uh, very much. Uh, kind of learned something here. What they did was they actually made some changes here. Uh, down here, they have a heat sink on the transformer or the ballon. Because this is basically an in-fed antenna. It is not a vertical, it's not a quarter wave vertical per se. So that is one thing they improved. The other thing they did was they changed the very top to a very narrow whip. This is to reduce wind drag. So overall, very, very good quality. This is what's advertised, and it will do every single one of these. The only thing you got to be careful, there's a couple of installation considerations, uh, and all this is covered on the brochure. Uh, you insert pipe two into pipe one, eight inches, and that's very straightforward. The only other measurement that you have to take here is between the end of point five or pole five to the top of uh, the beam or the, the whip, 55.9 inches. So, all right, here's the data. And this thing, let me tell you, it is everything. This is the first test condition I had where it was actually just right above the roof line. And there's the 2.0 right there. Look at these numbers. This is unbelievable. Um, seven meter, right, right about two. Uh, See what's another one in here? 10 meter, all this, everything in here, uh, 14 meter is right in here, right there around two. Uh, 17 meter, 1.5, all the way across, 1.5 median, all the way across, even in two six. Absolutely beautiful, and this thing works. So this shows you testing it at the roof line. Uh, pretty much the same results when I extended it up full 30 feet. And the beautiful thing is the barn, the metal roof doesn't seem to have any impact on it. Uh, being an in-fed antenna, it, its behavior is probably a lot different from what a quarter wave is. Uh, so overall, we give this thing a five-star rating. It's a winner for 450 bucks approximately. Uh, it's worth it. Uh, I can now get on uh, amateur bands, uh, you know, all the way across. Uh, and it's absolutely amazing. So let me wrap this video up and I'll uh, add the uh, test data in a separate video. Okay, thanks for watching. Hey, good morning, guys. It's Steve. Got some updates for you. We got the uh, the antenna up right now. We don't have it fully extended, but we do have it uh, right there at the base of the roof. So I'm going to run a sweep here and uh, let's see what it looks like here real quick. Uh, we're looking for 3 megahertz to 57. That's its range. We want the thick line here. And let's do a sweep. So this is uh, absolutely amazing. This thing is usable all the way down to 3 megahertz, all the way up to 54. This is unbelievable. Some of these, let's take a look at some of the SWR readings here. Uh, 1.9 on 20 meter. Uh, 2.7 on 7 meter. Uh, let's go to 15 meter. 
1.25 17 meter uh, 1.19 uh, let's go to 10 meter 1.15 1.12 and 6 meter 1.5 and this thing can actually be used in the CB band that's unbelievable okay I'm going to take a picture of it and show you what this looks like in the position it is now and I will go ahead and hoist it up and get it permanently mounted and we'll take another look at the data okay awesome very good Okay guys, Steve again. So let's take another sweep here. I now have it fully uh, extended uh, to, its, to its original height. So let's take a look and see what we got going on here. Um, thick line there, return loss, SWR. All right, we need to go from three to 57. Perfectly usable. This is unbelievable, this antenna at 80 meter 2.23 20 meter 1.45 uh, 40 meter uh, 1.96 28 meter 1.32 and 6 meter 1.47 and if you're curious on the CB band 27405 uh, 1.3. So this antenna can be used from 6 meter all the way to 80 meter. Absolutely unbelievable. So I'm going to put some pictures up showing you what the test conditions were. This is now fully extended. Uh, amazing return loss here also. Really, really good numbers. Um, okay, sounds good. We'll wrap it up and uh, we will get on the air and make some tests.